Hey kids, welcome back to Northside Kids Online. I'm so glad you've chosen to join us today. It's a couple of days after Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful time with your family and maybe you got one or two things that you really wanted for, for your Christmas presents and stuff. But more importantly, I hope that you spent a little time remembering what Christmas is all about. And it's all about God loving you and me so much that he gave his son Jesus. All right, so before we get going with everything else, uh, we got a little game. This week we're going to be talking about the uh, three wise men, or the wise men. We don't know how many there really were. There were three gifts, so we always say the three wise men. But to start off, we're going to have a little race with three wise men. I want you to pick the red, the blue, or the green wise men in this race. All right, here we go. These three kings of Orient are not messing around. They each want to be first to see the newborn messiah. Who do you think will win the race? Who likes the blue king? Let's hear it for the king in red. And how about that green king? It's a race to Bethlehem in three, two, one. The Blue King is the winner. Hello! How are y'all doing? You see Crush in the background there? <laughs> he has to be like in every video we do. He's a camera hog. All right, so how was your Christmas? Did you get all the presents you asked for? Well, even if you didn't, that's okay, because we know that Jesus is the best gift we could ever receive. Can you imagine what the wise men felt the night that they traveled, following a star up in the sky to go find the Savior of the world? They left everything they were doing to travel and find that special baby, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. All right, so we're gonna sing, it's Christmas time. And in this song, there's a part that says, the wise men came from far to see the baby. So don't forget to look really hard when we sing that. All right, here we go. Go by. I eat cookies and milk 
Are you guys ready to sing Superhero? I know you guys like this song. It's so fun, pumped up. You guys get to sing it out. You get to dance, just have fun with it. You get to do the cool Spider-Man hands and fly like Superman and do the Batman pose. I want you guys to get up if you're not already. If there's someone there with you, get them involved. Say, hey, this is an awesome song. You need to do this with me. And just feel free to let it go. Like, get crazy, have fun with it. This is the song to do that. But remember, all those superheroes have like amazing superpowers, but Jesus has all of those and more. We can't even fathom how much power he has. Don't forget that. Jesus is the ultimate superhero. He's the one who makes the sun shine. He's the one who puts the moon in the sky. He's the one who hung the star. continue or we're going to sing oh come all ye faithful and i love this song and i love it for this week because we're talking about how the wise men worship jesus and we're not kings we may not be wise men that traveled really far to give jesus these amazing presents but what we can give him is our praise we can give him our heart our attention our adoration so when it gets to the part where it says, come, let us adore him, I want you guys to think about really singing that straight from your heart to Jesus. You're saying, God, we adore you. There is no God like you. There is no one greater. There is no one smarter. There's no one more powerful. We adore Jesus Christ. Sing this with me.
Hey kids, I hope y'all are having a great Christmas week, being all prepared to celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. And along that same theme, we're going to talk today about the wise men. Now they were just that, wise, educated men. And many Bible scholars believed that they had read about a special king to be born from the prophet Daniel. Now of course the prophet Daniel was hundreds of years before Jesus' birth. But whenever those wise men saw the star in the sky... They knew that a special king was going to be born. Now, last week, we talked about the shepherds that were out in the fields near Bethlehem, and the angel told them about a savior to be born, and they went and visited Jesus Christ. Now, this week, those wise men, we're going to learn how they traveled hundreds of miles to see the special king be born. Take a look. Stories of the Bible. Jesus and the wise men. This is Jesus. Booyah! Jesus is the son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. <laughs> His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset. Ah. As was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah. 
not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and it was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha! So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews star first appeared. Oh God! And then King Herod told the wise men, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did, and then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, get up. The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> when they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. We'll take it where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. Now those wise men, they traveled a long way to bring gifts to the newborn king. And on their travels, they stopped through Jerusalem where King David had built a royal place. But King Herod was there and all the people, and when they heard the wise man talking about this new king to be born in Bethlehem, they were very troubled. Even though they had the prophets' writings telling them of a king to be born, they still did not like the idea of this new king coming in. And so whenever the wise men were going to leave, King Herod said, hey, whenever you find that new king, let me know where he is so I too can go and worship him. Now, is that really what King Herod wanted to do? Not at all. He wanted to destroy the new king. He didn't understand that Jesus came to the earth to die on the cross for our sins. But we know that whenever Jesus returns, that he's going to be king of kings forever. We know through 2 Samuel 7 that God's promise to King David that we would have a king that would rule over forever and be king of kings and lord of lords. Now, are y'all ready for some review questions? I think you can handle it. Okay. Review question number one. What did God put in the sky to let the wise men know that Jesus was born? That's right. He put a star in the sky. Good job. All right. Review question number two. What gifts did the wise men bring to Jesus? Mm -hmm. That's good. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Great job. Okay, review question number three. Did Herod actually want to worship Jesus? No, he did not. He wanted to destroy Jesus. Oh. Review question number four. How did God warn Mary and Joseph about Herod's plot to kill the boys in Bethlehem? He sent an angel in a dream to Joseph. Very good. Review question number five. Last question. Where did the angel tell Joseph to take Mary and Jesus? Yes, to Egypt. 
to a safe place in Egypt where King Herod couldn't get to him. Hey, great job. I hope you enjoyed our lesson about the wise men, and I hope that you enjoy celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this week with your families. These three kings of Orient are not messing around. They each want to be first to see the newborn Messiah. Who do you think will win the race? Who likes the blue king? Let's hear it for the king in red. And how about that green king? It's a race to Bethlehem in three, two, one. And first place goes to the Green King. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you to Gideon for our Bible story today. Kids, uh, it has been a while since I've seen some of you, and I just want you to know that I love you. Uh, I'm thinking about you. I'm praying for you and your family. I hope that y'all are staying safe. And I also hope that you have a happy New Year. We, New Year's Day is just a few days away. It's a time where a lot of people look at their lives and decide, what can I do better in the next year? And maybe you or your family is looking at that. I pray uh, that God will direct you and your family's footsteps as you look forward to the year 2021. And we pray that the Lord will bless that year. And gosh, we also pray that God would make it uh, a safer year for us health-wise. And uh, we pray that we'll get through this whole coronavirus thing. Well, listen, I love you like I said earlier, and I'm praying for you like I said earlier, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.